So number one gives us a sequence defined by f of zero equals negative 20, and then f sub n equals the previous term minus five when n is greater than or equal to one. So this time they're giving us our zero term, okay? So explain why f of one equals negative 20 minus five, okay? So this is our previous term, okay, or our starting term. Okay, so we're taking our previous term minus five. So we're gonna take the previous term and subtract five. So explain why f of three, okay, so this is subtracting five once. Okay, so this one, f of three for our third term when we're given the zero term, why would negative 20, why would it be negative 20 minus five minus five minus five? And that's because we're gonna subtract five three times to get to that third one. So complete the expression. F of 10 would be equal to negative 20 minus five 10 times. So you could write out minus five 10 times or just minus five times 10. Number two, a sequence is defined by F sub zero. So the zero term is negative four. And then each of the next terms is going to be the previous term minus two for n is greater than or equal to one. So write a definition for the um, nth term. Okay, so the nth term is going to be the first term minus two n times. So just like that last one we had, what would f of 10 be? Okay, it would have been the first term minus the growth factor or the, the common difference times 10. So in this case, we've got the first term, okay, so that zero term, okay, which is what they give you here. And then we're going to subtract the um, common difference n times. So that common difference n times. Number three, here is the definition of a um, sequence where we have the first term is three. So now we're at the first term is three and then the subsequent terms equal two times the previous. So find the first time five terms. So we have three that we're multiplying by two Okay, so three, six, six times two is 12, 12 times two is 24, 24 times two is 48. And then we're gonna graph um, the value of the term as a function of the term number. So term one was three, okay, so this is 10, so this is five, so three is below five. Second term is six, so just above five. Third term is 12, so above 10. Fourth term is 24, so almost to 25. And fifth term is 48, so almost to 50. So now we want to know, is this sequence arithmetic, geometric, or neither? So we know that it's geometric because we have repeat um, multiplication. Number four says here's a graph of the sequence m define m recursively using function notation okay so first thing you need is the first term okay so let's take a look at the first term is seven okay then you need to know what's happening for every subsequent term Okay, so every subsequent term is going to be the previous term what? And we can see this is going down. Okay, so this is at 7. Okay, the next term is 5. The next term is 3. The next term is 1. So they're going down by 2 each time. So it's the previous term minus 2. Okay, and then we say when n is greater than or equal to 2 when we're given the first term. 
Number five, write the um, first five terms of each sequence. Determine if it's arithmetic, geometric, or neither. So our first term here is five. Then we're going to take the previous term plus three. So we're going to do five plus three, which is eight. Eight plus three, which is 11. 11 plus three, which is 14. And 14 plus three, which is 17. Next one, our first term is one. So then we're gonna do three times our previous term. So we're gonna do three times one, which is three. Three times three, which is nine. Three times nine, which is 27. And then three times nine, which is 81. Next one, our first term is three. And this says do the opposite of the previous term and then add one to it. So we're gonna take the opposite of three, which is negative three. Okay, so our middle step is negative three and then we're gonna add one, which is negative two. Then we're gonna do the opposite of negative two, which is two. Then we're gonna add one, which is three. Then we're gonna do the opposite of three, which is negative three, add one is negative two. So it's just flip-flopping back and forth between three and negative two. And then our last one starts at five and it does our previous term plus our term number. Okay, so remember I like to do this um, and write out the term number below. So this is term number one, two, three, four and five. So we're gonna take the previous term plus the term number. So five plus two is seven. Previous term is seven plus three is 10. Previous term is 10 plus the term number of four is 14. 14 plus five, 19. So these are just term numbers. These are the actual terms. Okay, then um, number six has us take a look at this graph of a sequence. Is it arithmetic or geometric? And so we can see that it goes down in this curve. So that means that it's geometric, okay? Because it's decreasing curve. And it can be an increasing curve too. This one just happens to be dividing by the same number. Arithmetic ones are going to be straight lines. List at least the first five terms of the sequence. So we can see here's the first one at 64. Here's the second one at 16. Third one at 4. Okay, so then maybe you see the pattern now. So you're just dividing by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. And then 1 divided by 4 is 1 fourth. So now we want to write a recursive definition. So remember that we need to start with the first term of a sub one, which is 64. Then we write it for n, which is always going to be the previous term, okay, in this case, times the growth factor. So when you're doing this where it's dividing by four, remember that's a growth factor of one fourth. So you can put the times by one fourth out front, you can put it at the end, and then we just define that for any term two or higher. We're given the first term, so this is gonna be term two or higher.